tuning in to your breath. Deep, slow breaths. So welcome here to this Root Chakra meditation, Muladhara meditation, and grounding into Mother Earth. And as we ground ourselves and stabilize ourselves, we prepare ourselves the foundation on which to grow into our channel of divinity and to awaken the body to allow the channel of divine to flow through the body. And in this grounding through Muladhara and through the roots of the body down into the earth, we provide the grounding for all the electricity which flows from Great Spirit to move through our bodies down to the earth so that we do not get shocked along the way of receiving yogic energies, activations, and transmissions of the divine. The root chakra also governs our feeling of safety, of comfort, and of abundance, and also helps us to maintain our connection to the body itself. So for this meditation, I really want you to feel your body, and I really want you to feel the ground beneath you and the earth below us. And let your breath bring in the energies and elements of the earth, the air, the fire, and the water. And let those elements circulate in the core, grounding down through your roots as you drink the elements of the earth, the air, the fire, and the water up through your roots into Shushumna, into the spinal column, and up and out the crown chakra, Sahasrara, inviting the opening of Ajna, the cleansing, purification, decrystallization, and activation of the pineal gland, and the ability to transform and alchemize all of the energies of the chakras by creating a stable foundation on which to feel safe, comforted, and abundant. So focusing on your legs, your hips, and feeling your body, and really deepening the breath as much as you can to really fill the diaphragm and feel below the belly button, even getting full with air as much as you can. Feeling even the hips expanding a little bit with each inhale as you bring in all the prana you can, all the way down into the lower belly and through the diaphragm and moving the space, opening the space of the lower body to bring the prana down through the hip flexors, through the psoas, through the sciatic nerve and down through the legs, down through all of the muscles and all of the veins your breath of prana goes down to grow your roots even further, nourishing your roots with life force so that they can grow stronger and numerous.
Lamm, 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 Lamm. Feeling your breath go deep down. Feeling the vibration of the seed sound of the root chakra, Lam, opening at the base of the body and allowing that energy of safety and abundance, of at home energy, of comfortable in your skin, of connection to your body, to rise up through the sacral chakra activating your creative mind up through the solar plexus activating trust up through the heart activating love up through the throat activating listening and communication in truth up into the third eye activating seeing the all that is and up and out through the crown and back down through the crown activating and awakening the connection to the all that is, to the divine, to the soul. And breathe deeply, really remembering to fill the whole belly, letting the breath expand the diaphragm down underneath the belly button, filling the breath into the psoas, feeling that slight expansion of the hip flexors as you deepen your breath. Maybe you need to sit in a Baddha Konasana or butterfly to feel this connection even more. Maybe you feel the breath moving into the hips already. Wherever you are, breathe deeply and slowly and allow this energy of the root chakra to circulate through your whole body now, bringing balance, stability, and groundedness. And perhaps you sense a bit of a heaviness in the legs or a warmth starting to form at the base of the body at the pelvic floor or throughout the hips and the core. Just breathe into this warmth or this heaviness and maybe you start to perceive the color red. Maybe your focus is mostly on nature herself and the colors of the dirt and the forest floor and start to feel yourself being wrapped by the life of Mother Earth, by the life of nature. Feel yourself being supported by the life of Mother Earth, by the life of nature. Breathe into the earth as you are supported by her and send gratitude down through your roots, down through the soil, down through all the rocks and all the layers of mycelium and all the insects and all of the waters underneath, deep down through the mountains below, through all the molten magma and deep into the crust of the core through the core of the earth into the sanctuary of the heart center of our mother where she holds us in a space of healing and safety whenever we need to whenever we ask to and whenever she is calling us to remember and in this sanctuary 
the red and orange light of the core of the earth wash you with this liquid warmth. And all that is no longer serving you dissolves away, is burned away, and is blown away like dust into the wind as you ground yourself into safety, stability, and balance. And you feel your strength sinking in to your body as the fires of the earth the warmth of the love of our mother dissolve away all that is no longer serving you releasing everything that is no longer needed and allowing your body mind and spirit to be realigned and reconfigured with the highest and brightest light of your soul self Mother Earth is here to provide us this space and in our gratitude for this space of life, the more stable and grounded we can become and maintain throughout our lives. If you feel called, we will now offer some affirmations that you are welcome to follow along with in your own way at, whether in your mind's eye or aloud, and you can also change them if you feel there is something else you would like to focus on at this time, but directly for the root chakra. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am balanced. I am stable. I am safe. I am grounded. I am stable. I am provided for. I am grounded. I am stable. I am provided for. I am grounded. I am stable. I am provided for. I am grounded. I am stable. 
I am provided for. I am grounded. I am stable. I am provided for. I am grounded. I am stable. I am provided for. I am grounded. I am balanced. I am abundant. I am grounded. I am balanced. I am abundant. I am grounded. I am balanced. I am abundant. I am grounded. I am balanced. I am abundant. I am grounded. I am balanced. I am abundant. And now just returning to your breath. And breathing all the way into your belly, filling the diaphragm, filling the lower belly. And focusing on those roots and on that warmth, maybe that bit of a weight grounding you down. And consider one thing or one feeling or situation that you react to whether it's in your own mind or something external, whether it's an old pattern or a new one, on one situation, energy, emotion, circumstance, which makes you feel ungrounded. Just think of that now. It could be many things that come up. It doesn't have to be one, one pointed focus thing. Just consider what, what makes you feel imbalanced, ungrounded, unsafe unabundant what are the situations in the world at this time that are making f people feel that way and by making we mean facilitating the space for those to react in the way they choose and when a lot of things are imposed upon our energy systems it can seem like something is controlling the way we are feeling however nothing makes us feel anything we only feel what we choose to react to. And that feeling of choice is relevant to the base core foundation of your being. When we choose actively to return to center, we can release the situations, the circumstance, the energies and emotions which come up in our lives that take us away from that balanced state. So just think of some of those things now and see them entering the core of the earth, the sanctuary of the earth with you at this time and being burned and melted away. Maybe it's the fear of lack. Maybe it's the greater situations of propaganda and brainwashing Maybe it's a relationship or a lacking of a job at this time. There are so many people going through so many different things, but the feeling of imbalanced ungroundedness is prevalent throughout much of the world at this time. And when we can as individuals take the time to focus on alchemizing these forces of energy, we can step into our full power and continue to make the choice to rise up from the lower realms. And the only real way we can rise up from these lower realms is to create a strong, balanced foundation within them. Just like the trees grow their roots spreading out for years and years and years in order to provide the space for them to grow by creating stability, we must follow this principle in nature within our own lives. 
and always seek to find the way to create our own stable foundation for our practice and for knowing that we are balanced, we are safe, we are abundant, and we are strong, we are capable, we are grounded, we are balanced, we are stable, we are safe, we are abundant, we are strong, we are capable. And from this primal place of infinite potential, the kundalini begins to rise through the sacral chakra and up the spine. And one can begin their process of awakening through focusing only on the higher realms. But the less time we spend clearing, releasing, and grounding ourselves into strength in the lower realms, the more intense it will be on the emotional level when the light reaches the base of the body. So to really connect to your body and release the emotions as you rise through your being, we are guided in this process of letting go. And through this letting go, we step into the light. And in this light, we now have strength from expanding the truth of our nature, which is the earth realms at this time. We are here on this earth at this time because we've chosen to create a stable foundation for a physical body to hold itself in place. This is part of the reason the chakra system even exists is to allow us the electromagnetic field, which is the prism and container for the physical human vessel. And as we, if we turn away from the truth of the energy system or energy body, which starts with the root and below as our nature is to be connected to our mother earth, and through that natural connection to our Mother Earth, we may rise into our connection with Great Spirit. And this is not a rising as in you're going anywhere. This is a rising in the frequency of your energy field, which allows the light of Great Spirit to pour down through you. And that is our innate ability as humans, beings of color. And this color, the rainbow spectrum of light, is part of our system in order to keep us together. And as a pun, we do intend keep it together by balancing oneself, is why we have learned meditation over time in order to literally keep the system in place, <laughs> keep the body together, keep the brain intact, keep everything functioning in flow. And the longer that we uh, release or forget these energetic systems out of our lives, then the more we deteriorate. And that is what we are seeing metaphorically and literally play out in the reflection of our earth at this time and our world as we are seeing that many parts of our existence, many aspects of our existence have been more or less only given half of their potential explored. And in this, we have left aside the energetic, emotional, and telepathic imprints that every single interaction offers us. And through this forgetting, the chakra system degrades. And through that degradation, the chakra system of our Mother Earth also degrades. And through that degradation, we become more destructive to our planet in a way that is not serving a rebirth. This is why we must tune into the center of the being, ground ourselves into the Earth, and remember to pray to the elements of divine which open the way for us. So we will now offer that we bring our hands into this Ganesha Mudra, where the index fingers are together and the other two middle fingers cross over the index fingers 
and the thumbs, you can cross them how you wish. Uh, the ring <laughs> pinkies are interlaced as so. And if you can connect the <laughs> fingertips, all of them uh, that are pointing up, I think it looks like everybody has it, yep. And you can hold this in front of your heart center. <clears throat> Ganesh resides in the, in the body, in the mind, in the spirit, allowing the root chakra to open and break through the barriers which might seek to pull us back down into our lower selves. So from breathing here, we'll focus, you can focus silently if you wish, or if you know, the Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha Mantra to Ganesh. We will sing through that now for two minutes, apparently. <laughs> Om Gam Gana Pataye Namaha 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 Om Shri Ganesha Sharanam Vakratunda Mahakaya Ekadanta Namostu Te Namah Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. And just breathe here, envisioning a clear path in front of you, or sensing all around you an opening space of lightness and freedom, Mokshante. Moksha ye namaha. Allowing freedom to surround, calling to freedom. Deep inhale. Exhale, slowly releasing your fingers into Anjali Mudra. And then keeping the thumbs together, twisting the thumb tips along each other to a cross and coming into Garuda Mudra, or also known Moksha Mudra. And just breathing here in front of the heart. You can spread the fingers if you wish, or have them together. It's taught both ways. I'm not sure what the different applications mean, um, but feel into how your energy responds. And just breathe into these wings of Garuda, the vehicle for Vishnu, a great eagle-like being. 
and just feel freedom surrounding you. Maybe you need to work off of a memory to get that sensation or maybe just in the realization of your divine freedom in the now, you can feel this. Just think moksha, freedom, freedom, non-duality, freedom, moksha, advaita, samadhi. All of these principles are interchangeable, but what really is the feeling? What really is the energy? What really is freedom? And if no great epiphany or energetic realization occurs in this exact moment, then just bring your focus into Ajna and state, I am free, tat, svam, asi. 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 I am free, tat, Svam Asi. This means I am free that I am that I am. <laughs> I am that that I am. I am free. Tat Svam Asi. That I am. And that is the moksha of divinity. The moksha of freedom. The freedom of moksha. Of samadhi bliss state. Just take a few really strong, even emphasized breaths. Maybe you let out a ha to get the throat chakra going again. Or flutter the lips. Deep inhale. And with a big ha, let the arms spread out. Ha. Reaching the arms out, spreading the palms out. Reach them back, really open the heart. Inhale. And exhale, grounding that energy of lightness as the arms move down to the earth. And just breathe here, feeling the subtle changes in your aura. And then bringing your hands, palms face down at the hip flexors. And just breathe into your hip flexors. Breathe into the legs, into the knees, into the feet. And feel that breath going all the way down through the diaphragm, into the lower belly, into the pelvis. And focus on your roots growing into the earth. Filling with that red energy, red light, like the blood within us. Pulsing and pumping through from your heart to the earth, from the earth to your heart. This nourishing loop of connection with Mother Earth. Of being infinitely provided for, infinitely balanced, and infinitely capable.
And now you can bring your hands either on your knees or in your lap, whatever feels right to you. And just open to receive any messages or steps to take in keeping yourself grounded. And just breathing for one minute here, just allowing yourself to receive any messages. I open myself to receive any messages pertaining to my root chakra. I open myself up to receive any messages pertaining to my root chakra. I allow myself to receive any messages which are meant to come through me at this time about my root chakra. <laughs> Feeling gratitude run through you and sending this to the earth, saying thank you to the earth and to your body for keeping you connected, grounded, stable, and abundant. Namaste.
Saat 6. Thank you all for participating in this Root Chakra meditation. I am just going to stop our recording now and we can have a sharing.